Good evening and uh, welcome to this rather weird and wonderful piano recital. We're so excited that we're actually able to mount our piano recital this year. It's, I think, the fifth one we've done. And, of course, it's such a shame not to have a full audience of people supporting the students who are playing this evening. But our audience is there, and if they cheer loudly, that can prove that to you. <laughs> so, we have our audience, we have our sterilised piano, um, and we're going to have a lot of hand sanitising going on, but most importantly, we're going to have a lot of fantastic music. So I'd like to first welcome up Phoebe Lee Ross in Year 10. Hi, tonight I'll be playing a piece called After Hours by Pam Wedgwood. I've really enjoyed playing this piece as it's very relaxing and soothing, and I hope you find it relaxing too. Jude. I'm going to be playing Dusty Blue by June Armstrong from Paintbox. Paintbox is a collection which is all about different colours. I chose it because you could change the dynamics and the piece changes its mood and I like the ending.
Lavender's Blue. I'm playing this because I just love this song. be playing Andante in A. I'm playing this song because it's my favourite out of the grade five book. My name is Mary and tonight I'm going to be playing Isolation by Debbie Wiseman. I learnt this at the start of lockdown and I thought the title was quite appropriate.
thing I absolutely love about the piano recital is seeing the students who are at different stages in their journey. There's those who are just beginning to play the piano, just entering for their first grades and working really hard, just discovered it. And then there are those that have been working towards it for many, many years. But what holds them all together and what brings them here this evening is the fact that they just love playing the piano and love making music. And we're seeing that full scope this evening, those who are just doing their grade one or two, those who are approaching their grade eight. And that's really nice to see and to, particularly to hear Mary play, who's in year 12. Um, and to our next performer, who is Grace. Um, hi, um, I'm Grace, and I'm going to play some ride on a Matterhorn. And um, it describes with calm majesty, which I think is just perfect for the piece. Hi, my name is Rebecca. I'm going to be playing Amma Ben by Heinrich Hoffmann. Um, I've been enjoying playing this piece for many years, so I hope that you guys enjoy it.
called Old French Song. It was composed by Tchaikovsky in 1878. The Russian composer is most famous for The Nutcracker, Swan Lake and Sleeping Beauty. But I like playing Old French Song because the music is slow yet bubbly. I hope you enjoy the piece. Each year we have been tremendously lucky to welcome a guest pianist to perform at our piano recital, uh, to inspire the girls and also we spoke about them being on their journey. These are people who have kind of reached the end of the journey they've been through and come out the other end. And this year it's my tremendous privilege to welcome Mark Smith to perform for us. I've known Mark for many years. Uh, he studied for three years at Cardiff University and then uh, following two years at the Royal Academy, he's uh, been a teacher since. But it, we're fantastically privileged that he's agreed to come and perform for us this evening. Mark Smith. Good evening. Uh, tonight I'm going to be playing a piece by Frédéric Chopin, who is uh, one of the most prolific and famous composers of the 19th century, and it's called uh, Grande Polonaise Brillante. Uh, the Polonaise part of that means dance, it's a type of Polish dance. The Grande part means big, and the Brillante just means brilliant. So I like to think of this piece as being like the great big dance. Uh, it was originally written for piano and orchestra, but it's usually performed on just piano these days. Uh, it's a piece that I heard first when I was about 16. Um, it's at the end of a film called The Pianist, which if you haven't seen, I highly recommend. It's uh, amazing, full of amazing piano music. Uh, and since then, the last 10 years, I keep coming back to it. It's just such a joyful piece. Uh, so this is uh, Grand Polonaise Brillant by Frédéric Chopin.
incredible piece. It kind of felt like a Christmas tree with too much tinsel on at times. It was just so much there. So uh, thank you so much, Mark. And, uh, but now back to um, the important part of the evening, which is just listening to the fantastic students of Hayesfield. And we're beginning kind of the second half with, I can't see who's hiding in the shadow. Shout out your name. Suzanne is going to commence the second half of the evening. Back over to Suzanne. I'm Suzanne. I'm going to play the second movement of Mozart's Sonata in C. And I chose this piece because I really enjoy playing it and I like how it can change from major to minor really quickly. Hi, I'm Flo and I'm going to be playing New Girl Bianc. I like it because it's very dramatic.
Hi, I'm Maya and I'll be playing Solfeggio in G by John Christoph Frederick Bath. I like this piece because I always enjoy playing it and I hope you do too. and I will be playing Etude in A minor by Louis Farrell. playing flamenco. I like it because it's really cheerful. Alexander, and this is the piece I'm playing for my GCSE coursework.
I love hearing Amelia play because it kind of represents what most of the uh, students this evening have probably been going through because you listen to Amelia play and just listen to it and it sounds so beautiful and serene and poised and relaxed and then you look at her hands shaking and you realise the tension that's going on beneath the surface uh, and that tension's there because all of the performers we uh, listen to this evening, they care so much about how their performances sound and they've worked so hard. We're seeing the piece right at the end of hours and hours of practice. So to all the uh, parents watching at home, thank you for putting up with that practice. And to all of the students who have played, thank you for putting in the hours to enable us to enjoy your performances this evening. And we're going to round off listening to Anne. Hi, I'm Anne, and today I'll be playing Sarah by Thomas Peter Horaz. I've really been enjoying playing this piece. should be very happy that he doesn't have to sterilize the piano again because um, I have no intention of playing. Um, I don't think he'd like to hear what I was, would, would be capable of because unlike you girls, I'm not that talented. Um, at this point in time, I would normally invite the girls to come down and um, take the spotlight again and uh, so that the audience could give them another round of applause. Uh, social distancing means I can't do that, I'm sorry. But what we can do is that uh, when the girls are at home watching this with their families, we can all have another round of applause and families at home, you can join in too. So let's do that now. So well done, girls. So I hope that uh, when the girls are back home, they've stood up and taken another bow for their audience at home. Um, 
So it's a bit bizarre because I'm just going to talk to an audience like you're here, but you're not really here. And actually, I can't see the actual audience either because the lights are so strong on the stage. I um, did want to say a few thank yous. Um, first of all, I'm going to say thank you to Mr. Page and the music team because the first thing that Mr. Page said to me when uh, he found out that school would be reopened fully in September is he bounced up to me and he said, that's great, he said, that means we can do our piano recital. Um, so I think that's a real testimony to um, the music team that the first thing they think about girls is giving you an opportunity to perform because we are living in very strange and weird times and actually the opportunities to do something with a live audience uh, are very rare and they're few and far between so I would like to say thank you very much to our music team for making this happen because actually it's things like this where you do have the practice you've shown all the resilience that determination of, of making something as flawless as possible and then having the self-confidence to come up here and take the lights of the stage and people at home it is a very very bright stage so when the girls come up here and are talking to us and introducing their pieces it really is quite intimidating to do that so well done girls you did a grand job thank you very much I'm going to give you another round of applause Um, the English team this week are talking all about how um, reading is magic. Just wanted to talk a little bit about how music is magic because um, I arrived here on a crisp autumnal evening and music is magic because through your performances tonight you've taken me to very many different places. So I was having a little look at where I've been. Um, we've been to Spain for a bit of flamenco. Uh, we've been to France for some old French songs. Uh, Italy with a sunrise on the Matterhorn. And ask actually a little bit of... Um, Georgian bass dance halls as well so a really really good program there have lots of exciting places to have gone um, and on that note I would like to say a special thank you to our guest pianist um, Mark um, now, Mark, I would like to say thank you very much for making Mr. Page work so hard, and I'll explain why. Because he was coming up and sanitising the piano in between each player, but you well and truly made sure that Mr. Page had to clean every single key on that piano, so well done you. It was an absolutely fantastic piece, and there's only one thing that Mr. Page has got wrong this evening, and that was when he said you can have too much tinsel on a Christmas tree. Contra, you could never have too much tinsel on a Christmas tree. And you can never have such a performance that absolutely sort of enthralls your audience in such a manner. So thank you very much. We absolutely loved having you here. Girls, can you give him another round of applause? I think it's absolutely inspirational to listen to everybody, you know, from our New Year Sevens all the way through to somebody at the top of their career perform. Um, it's just been absolutely amazing. We have sent Miss Truman out to get you some flowers, but she's not made it back from the traffic yet, I'm sorry. So we'll do that bit off camera. Uh, we also have a few little gifts for the music team, but um, we'll have to put those into quarantine for 72 hours before you can collect them. Um, <laughs> and on that note, I think it's up to me to wrap things up, Mr Page, unless you wanted to say another few words yeah, is that great <laughs> lovely so thank you very much for tuning in we hope that you've enjoyed the performance at home as much as we've absolutely thoroughly enjoyed having the girls perform here this evening in our studio thank you for watching and thank you girls for playing so well thank you